I welcome you all to the second course on MySQL. So in this video we will be learning more on the tables and uh, the other functionalities included which are important in case of creating tables in the SQL. So in the previous video we have left, uh, we have created few tables in our database. In this video we will be starting by deleting those few tables and let's say if we have a table which we will be not be using anymore that is taking a lot of space in our database so we could remove that it would reduce this space complexity so let's see how to delete that particular database from our, I mean that particular table from our database so in this screen you could see the syntax for deleting the table is drop table and then we'll have to write the table name so the previous example the previous video we have seen by creating an author table i'll just show you so let's start from author and it is an empty set let's just delete this particular table we don't require anymore so drop table author queries executed what do you think if I do a select star on author now what should come up it is showing me an error and it is showing me an correct error that the author table does not exist anymore in the book underscore database that means the table has been deleted the very important part how to insert data in our tables so we have a books table ready and we need to insert certain data in the books table let us start let us insert few data points in the books table uh, I'll be referring to this particular slide so that I do not miss on some important points every now and then so let us insert few data points in our books table let us first see if we have the books table ready with us in our database from before i have added few data point or two rows in this particular uh, table let us add few more rows and let us update this particular uh, table so I'll do insert into books. I'll provide the column names. And then I'll write the values for which we are inserting. So just give this as a book one. The amount of this is 300 the other book i'll give it as book 2 and its amount is 400 this means we have successfully added those particular rows now if we have added these particular rows the in the update when uh, so the date table has been updated now when we do a select star on the books so yeah we are able to see four rows coming up in our table select or in, i mean in the books table that is pretty much correct the rows have been added this we saw we have inserted our data now this is a very uh, i mean important thing to be understood so when we are creating the table we are referring to the data types which should be present in the column names so when we do a describe and then we'll have to provide the table name this provides very good information to us about the characteristics of the table which we have created so the field column shows up the name of the I mean the columns which are present in our table so we have two per two columns name and price and the data types varchar and int 
there are many data types which are present in SQL when we uh, do a Google search data type in SQL and this is mm, related to much more theory theoretical parts so you could see there are many data types which are present in MySQL we need not to remember all of this but few major ones which I have discussed which I'll be discussing in this course would be the care the var care the decimal and the date and time data types so the the difference in the care and var care uh, data type is uh, let's say we have two columns and in one column we have given a car 5 in the and in the next column we have given a var car 5 now when we'll be entering a text or anything in those particular columns it would be restricted to, to, to just first five values and then the other values would be neglected out and would not be present in our table while uh, let's see if you're giving less number of values like the upper limit is 5 but we are entering uh, less than 5 characters values and in car car what it happens is the left out values would be replaced by space I mean the space would be present while in varicate this does not happen it exactly takes as number of uh, characters which we are entering so let's say we are entering three characters in both the columns so in car uh, in, in the column which has a car as data type the the left out two characters would be replaced by a space bar while in var car it does does not happen it would come just as three uh, three letter word or uh, characters so and uh, we have the decimal on uh, data type uh, and we just we just see we we just seen that uh, the price column had an had an integer value data type. The other one is decimal. Similarly, we have the float double, which you could refer this particular website. I'll provide this link in the description section of this particular video. I would request you all to go through this all data types which is which are present this particular blog the other other important characteristics are current date and current time uh, so these are related to the date and time data types so let's say we have a column a date column or a time column and uh, so the data type which would come up would be the date and the time data types these we discussed uh, the double and the float data types uh, which are used mainly while entering a numerical value so the the details are sh have come up on the screen so as you could see the double takes much more uh, memory takes up to 8 bytes and the precision is up to 15 digits precision is nothing but the number of values uh, which would be coming up after the decimal points so that particular thing uh, we mean for more details i would request you all to refer this particular blog it's a super fantastic blog uh, which i've also referred uh, many times while accessing to uh, various data types so i'll just show you now it's not coming up i'll just show a double okay great so we could see um, it has shown double and um, it characteristics attached to the that particular data type and the precision which we discussed right now so uh, this is an important uh, block on data types which I request you all to refer it after this particular video coming up to next video so this is a very important concept of null and not null when we do a describe and we enter the name of the table you can see the third column it is telling it as null i mean the header is null and it says yes and yes 
what is exactly is null will be so we'll be learning the null characteristics in the next video i hope you enjoyed this particular video we learned a lot let moving moving forward to the next lessons and hoping to see you in the next video thank you